Hey everyone, as of this latest update 2.3.7, we just released a massive workflow improvement for effects. And that is you can update and clone effects now. So now you don't have to save a preset, record a new effect and load that preset onto the new effect. Now it's basically seamless to clone your effects on a new selection so you can experiment or swap a fixture out if something happens on set. This is a lifesaver. So let me show you an example because I'm so happy about this. You can also update groups now, but I'm gonna do this video on effects. I'll talk about that in the update video, but this means that everything that is recordable is now updatable. So the workflow is very easy to understand and very seamless. Let's take a look. Okay, here's the scenario. We have this awesome cop car effect playing on 206, but that Titan tube dies in the middle of our shoot and we need to swap it out for 207. Okay, so in the effects tab, I can navigate to the effect that's playing and now I can hit the three dots right here and clone it and it comes in as cop car copy. I'm gonna pretend there's no AD here breathing down my neck, so I'm going to rename it, and I'll call it cop car 207. Okay, now let's update it. The first thing we need to do is make our selections. So just in live plot, I'll grab the cells of 207. I'll use offset number of groups two, and that's going to split it in half. And now I can use the update button. So I'm gonna update and navigate to effect, and I'll find my new effect, cop car 207 and save that. And now I'm gonna grab all the parameters from 206. So I'll do 206, copy to 207, enter. And that gives me color and intensity. And now all I have to do is play my new effect. And you can see they're the exact same effect. So there you go. In a matter of seconds, we got an effect playing on one fixture, onto another fixture. This is awesome if you wanna experiment with different selection orders or you wanna make a different version of an effect or if a battery fixture dies on you. You can still use effect presets, but this is a fast workflow that you can use on set when you need to change something fast. You can just clone, update, boom, you're ready to go. All right, that's it for now. We have a ton of new stuff coming, so stay tuned. As always, head to our help center or the Facebook group if you have any questions and let me know in the comments what you wanna see more of. I'll see you in the next one.